welcome to Courchevel. We have arrived at our chalet and yes, you guys, it's happening. I'm skiing. This is one of those things that I told myself I really wanted to relearn as an adult and apparently 2024 is my year for that. So I've literally, we got off the plane, we got in the transfer and we've just got here. So if I'm looking a bit tired, I did just sleep the whole two hour transfer. Uh, so that's why, but look at this view. Oh my goodness. We are in a chalet in Courchevel 1650. So if I'm like vlogging things and like, why is she not showing that? Why is she not vlogging that? I don't want to like, you know, make anyone else feel uncomfortable. But it should be a really good few days. I've got lessons booked and I'm just so ready to have so much fun. And it's really special to me to be spending some time with my dad. So yeah, if you're excited, give this vlog a like. I'm going to go and unpack. I need to get my boots and put them in the boot room. Uh, just put my skis in and yeah. So this is our room. This is my little setup. So I obviously bought my Ugg blanket and my jammies. And then I've kind of just got everything in this corner, which works pretty perfectly. I bought some energy balls that I told you about. And then this is actually a hand warmer. I do have another one, but it's in, I think it's in there. So I've just got my electronics down here. And then some snacks for the slopes. It's Valentine's Day, so I bought my ladder at chocolate. And then this is where I am keeping the majority of my clothes. So I've got two of my, jackets here this is a ski jacket this is just my lovely fluffy Montclair and then in here I have my ski jacket that's like thicker and then my one piece these are both Goldberg and then just my kind of ski trousers gloves hat helmet goggles and then my accessories down here. I also traveled in this huge jumper. This is from the company called Mum's Handmade and it's getting its first outing. I really love it. I actually need to take these pins out of my hair, but yeah, I mean, it, it was too warm. I wore this and the jacket and I was roasting, but because they're two big hoods, I almost had like a built-in pillow, which was really good. So I just kind of laid like this on the flight and slept the whole way. Okay, shall we take our boots? Yeah, we only have one key. It's time to take the pin curls out. I'm going to try and start at the bottom and work my way forward, hopefully. Uh, so I last minute ended up getting this blow dry last night and don't know if this is a good idea, especially if they've been, <laughs> they've been pinned for so long. I don't know if my hair's just gonna go puff, but at least I can put a beanie on if that's the case. So I am not actually skiing tomorrow, which is why I had the blow dry because I was like, oh, I can get some cute photos. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, it's half term week here in France, I'm pretty sure. So I couldn't actually get lessons on every day. So I have two days of lessons and then tomorrow morning, my dad's gonna go out solo so he can get the good snow in the morning and then come back and get me in the afternoon because as much as this trip is for me to learn to ski, it's also a really important trip for my dad and I together. I don't wanna like go into things, but like it's really special to me and really important to me that we spend time doing this and skiing for him is one of his biggest hobbies he loves Formula One and he loves skiing. And last year I took him to Silverstone and this year I've taken him skiing. So I just said to him, I'm not gonna be a killjoy on day one and ask you to stay back and take me onto the nursery slopes. You go get the good snow in the morning. I'll hang out at the chalet. I'll go into the village. I'll go for a walk. I'll, you know, like I, that's my idea of a good time anyway. And then in the afternoon I can go and get my skis on for the first time and go and have a practice before my first lesson. We have three whole days. We, we have plenty of time. And I, I always knew on this trip, I was never gonna end up being, you know, super, super good by the end of it. So I'm happy just to kind of go with the flow, especially as it means he's going to have a really good experience. I actually went to dry bar at Harrods to get my hair done. Basically, I had all these appointments booked for yesterday and they all canceled apart from my facial. I had a dentist appointment booked, an optician's appointment booked. When do the dentists ever cancel? Like, I I've never had a cancelled dentist appointment. So I was out in town all day and just one by one, the appointments kept canceling. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is such a bad use of my time. And I was just kind of sat there on my laptop, like what? So I decided to put myself a blow dry at Harrods last minute at dry bar. And there was space, which was really good. It was actually my first time going to dry bar at Harrods and it was really good. Well, I mean, we're about to see. The girl that did my hair, her name was Chloe. And she said she, she doesn't take responsibility if I brush it out and it goes puff. She was like, yeah, you're using the wrong thing. If it does that, she said, don't tag me in that one, <laughs> which made me laugh. But I'm just gonna give it a bit of a zhuzh and then brush the powder off my face. And we're actually gonna head onto the bus up to 1850. So we're in 1650 right now. This is where we're staying. And wow, she's curly. There's volume. <laughs> 
bit much volume. We do have a wide tooth comb. I'm just gonna run to the bathroom. Okay, sorted. And it looks so cute. I am just gonna put my moon boots on and then it's not actually that cold. I mean, I'm gonna put another layer over this top, maybe just a little like cashmere jumper and then my fluffy Montclair. And then I actually have a, have a new bag that I don't think I posted the unboxing yet. So I want to wear the new bag and it's gonna be a really cute, like icy look. Not that skiing's about the outfits, but today's not ski day, so. All right, you guys, we've come up to 18.50 and I've just popped into Louis Vuitton just to, just to browse, just to, uh, isn't she so cute? I, yeah, I just wanted to have a look in. We're kind of wandering up and down the street. I was like, why, why not? And they were like, nice, sweetie. I was like, thanks, which is really sweet. Yeah, we're just kind of having a browse. Dad's showing me what I can do tomorrow with like my off morning and then he is showing me where he's going to be skiing just so I you know know where he is but oh my goodness Courchevel is beautiful like it's so so beautiful it's hilarious though it's like there's a Louis Vuitton and then next door there's a Dior and next door there's Montclair and then I think like across the road the Chanel's up there or something but it's really funny that they're literally right next to the slopes but you know what I I'm genuinely so excited to ski. We were looking at everyone and I was like, okay, yeah, I think I can, like, I think this is doable. So I'm actually really excited to get actually out and on my skis and giving it a go. I feel like the more time that I have, the better I'll get. So yeah, I'm feeling good. The dad's just showing me all of the hotels that he stayed in and I've just spotted the Amman Hotel. That is a goal for me to stay there. We also walked past the Six Senses residences. It's so, such a gorgeous area. Like I can't, can't even begin to explain. Obviously, I went to Whistler. When was this? Two Christmases ago. And before that, I went to Verbier. But I've never been to Courchevel. So this is like a huge tick for me. And it's definitely living up to everything that I hoped it would be. I mean, I haven't even skied yet. But that's, you know, a whole different thing. It's nice to be in like a lovely setting alongside the skiing. I have a theory that we're about to have a really nice sunset but I don't think, what, another hour until it sets? Half an hour? Uh, I thought you said it was six it was, o'clock. It was, what time is it now? It's 5.30. 33. Yeah, it's looking very beautiful. I don't know how well you can see. I'll, I'll take you over there and show you in a minute, but I thought I'd show you the actual living area in the chalet just whilst no one's here. We're actually meeting for dinner, everyone, at 7. I think we eat at 7.30, but yeah, everyone's literally just left, so I thought I would show you. So this is the dining area. And then this is where everything was laid out from afternoon tea, this cake, divine. And then moving around, this is the room. How nice. Just been nice kind of sitting and chilling and everyone's been kind of popping in and out, which is good. And then look, how mad is this? I mean, there's not that much snow, but dad was saying every other time he's been here before, this would just be all covered. And yeah, it's just like, uncharacteristically warm right now. But I'm really glad we actually went up to 1850 because I think, are we gonna do the nursery slope there or are we gonna do the nursery slope here? It looked easier there. Basically, we are right by a bus stop that takes you right up to 1850. It's like, what, a four minute bus ride? So it's super, super quick, but the bus stops right outside our chalet. However, getting to the lifts here at 1650, we have to walk like four minutes. So it's quicker to walk to, but then what's the walk like from the bus stop at 1850? You've got to walk round. It's probably the same. Well, the, the, <laughs> the nursery slope at 1850 looked less steep. Um, and I, I mean, I've got to start somewhere, haven't I? But either way, I don't really mind. So I'm just actually very much excited to get out there and get, get on my skis. We sh oh, shall we go try my boots on? Okay, we'll do that. And then I think we're just gonna chill for a bit before dinner. But I did just have a panic thinking that I'd lost my sunglasses. I had them on here and they'd fallen inside my coat, but then I unzipped my coat and they didn't fall out. I was like, where have they gone? And they're the Celine ones I got for Christmas, which I'm not getting on very well with. They pop off my face. So I actually booked an optician's appointment for next week, I think it is. If they don't cancel, I had to rebook and hopefully they'll be able to sort them out whilst I get my glasses. <laughs> I think not. It was at that moment that he realised what he was here for. <laughs> oh, I need the man from the shop. He was so helpful. You're not doing both things. Huh? You're doing both things. Well, yeah, but I've, I've got a cold foot. Oh, the insults, you're lovely. Right, so no, I have to learn to do it, don't I? Yeah, no, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, so get that, that's it. I've got and to then, drive the car. And then always, always just do your top one, but still on a loose, that's it, yeah. And just, just get the top one round, and just do a loose one. How do people do this? There you go. 
I'm going to take a picture of you. I am, because you look good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, thanks! I'll get, I'll get one before you actually uh, <laughs> throw them down the mountain. <laughs> just found the hot tub and I think this is a sauna but look you can kind of see over the mountains now the sunset is about to be insane I, I mean I think we're gonna miss it really but even just the pink haze is so cute well my friends skiing day one is complete and I mean I didn't get my skis on did I well no lie I did but tried them on dinner was very yummy everyone else that's in the chalet is really lovely so we basically have like a family and then a few kind of like random not random people but people that aren't in the family and i think total there's like 12 15 no not 15 like 12 people i actually love a chalet setup we did a chalet in verbier which is really lovely and then when we were younger we did like a couple chalet stays and i just think it's a great way to go on holiday but also socialize with different people with like ease you don't have to leave so it's really good but yeah i am so tired i was up at three and it's uh very late well it's not very late it's like 9 p.m but like 8 p.m uk time so i am just tired i'm gonna have a shower i'm going to take all my makeup off put my comfy pajamas on and head to bed and i'll see you bright and early in the morning good night good morning good morning it is day one of skiing for dad and i'm actually heading up the mountain with him this morning just because i was like why would i not i have my lift pass i have everything i just don't have the skill yet so i'm gonna go take a look around and i don't even know just kind of bop around but I had a bit of a nightmare my sim card on my phone has just stopped working so i have no way to contact anybody unless i'm on wi-fi so yeah maybe not the best idea to be going out and about on my own um without any navigation or so i just need to make sure i know how to get back otherwise that would be a bit of a disaster but yeah i slept like an absolute log and i'm raring to go today i want to show you what i'm wearing i'm like where can i put you down i mean there's a there's a balcony but i'm like i don't know if you're gonna fit there will be full get dressed with me is on my like tiktok and instagram but for the sake of it you not having to leave this video right here which by the way if you don't follow me on instagram make sure you do i posted the sweetest picture yesterday but anyway yes so goldberg Goldberg. I'm gonna just put my moon boots on. This is and other stories. They do the best cashmere like blend hats. I don't think they're 100% cashmere. I think they're a blend. And then yeah, I have some Goldberg gloves to put on and I've just layered up underneath with like, I've got a base layer on, a cashmere layer and hopefully I'll be okay. <laughs> oh look! Are you excited to get back on the slope? Oh, yeah. So we basically just have to walk up and round. We're at the top of the mountain. How are you feeling? Excited. You're raring to go. Oh yes. It's actually not too busy. No, it's not bad it's at all. It's been really it? calm, um, but honestly, the view is insane. So we're in 1650 today. We decided to come up here, but over there is 1850. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, what's 1550 is lower down. Oh, lower down. Just at the bottom of the bank. Oh, no, air balloon. Oh, see, that's what I really want to do. Yeah, we did the paragliding. I really would love to do that. And then I heard there's a zip line. Where was that? Uh, Val Can we do that? I'm up for it. How do I get there we'll without skiing? Well, yeah, I think we'd need a taxi for that one. But yeah, look at this view. Okay, well, I'm going to head back down the mountain and leave Dad to it. Um, good luck. Thank you. Stay See safe. you in a bit. I've just hopped back on the gondola to go down, like literally just stepped on, and I am so excited for Dad. He wasn't going to get a chance to ski this year because the group he usually goes with aren't going. So yeah, I'm really happy that he gets to go and do one of the things that he loves, and I am going to go and actually do some bits at the chalet and then meet him a little bit later. I'm in like no rush. This trip for me isn't like a crazy want to do everything immediately. For me, I know I'm the type of person when I do something new that would make me like nervous or anxious I just got to take it at my own rate and having today has actually been a real pleasure because I've not come on the trip feeling full of like dread that I have to go and do this thing I'm afraid to do immediately so I'm feeling really good about it but I definitely do want to get out on my skis this afternoon it's also been really nice to come up here and see how everything works like logistically without having to carry all of my equipment and you know get overwhelmed I feel like I'm doing it the right way for a successful end point you know, I'm not rushing it. I'm going slow and steady, but I'm going in for the win. You guys, it's time, it's happening. I am officially going skiing. <laughs> Finally, what I'm here for. Also, it's a bit annoying that I have makeup on because I am obviously going to get it all over my helmet and my goggles, but it's fine. I, I'm not actually that nervous. I think as soon as I put the skis on, that's when I'll freak out, but I'll try and vlog what I can on my phone. But obviously I am actually here to try and learn to ski. So as much as I would love to be a content queen and provide you all the entertainment, I actually, you know, would love to 
be able to learn something. <laughs> How lovely are my Goldberg gloves? I am all wrapped up and all warm. I'm literally just going to take my lift pass key for the room. What else? Lip balm. It feels like I'm not taking much, but I feel like that's okay. <sighs> okay, right, I'm going to do a nervous wee and then head out. This is how my outfit looks. What do you think? Guys, this is a bad decision. Should I take a hair bobble? I'll take one just in case, okay. They're going up there and it's only a short run and they're just doing like the ski school guy's just take him up there and doing that and then he moves him on to the blue one later. Okay. So do you want to just try that one first yeah. and see how you go? Yeah, yeah. Let's just try me on my skis on the snow first though before we actually... Yeah, know. yeah. Well, where we've got to get to, we've got to walk to it at the bottom okay. of it and then we'll put the then skis can, on. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Hand, and then we can just go on the... But I'm not, I'm not a fan of them. This but hey ho, this leads us. I know, yeah. So you guys, I come to you with my advisor on because it's so bright, but we just did one run down the green slope, not even the nursery slope, and I stacked it a total of, what, four times? Yeah, no, it was a long green run. Yeah, it was a very long green run, and I, I did it. That's the main thing, and I feel like, I don't know, it's just that thing, isn't it? You have to, like, get the feeling, it has to click. Um, but it was so much fun. I think I had more instinct than we thought I was going to have. Yeah, and you've got to look, picked it up a lot quicker than I thought you were going to. Yeah. Ooh. Yum. Coffee time. With a view. I did it. I actually cannot believe I did it. I... <laughs> Gosh. So we went basically to the nursery area in 1650 and then dad was like, let's just go at the button lift up to the green and just, you know, we'll, we'll tootle around. And I was like, hey, hey. And you know, I feel like it's definitely partially instinct. I feel like that side I still have from when I was younger, but it's just, I, I don't know. It, it's like, I feel like I just need practice. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I need to go up and down, up and down, up and down. So I'm really excited for my lesson tomorrow now because I feel like now I've actually been in my skis and I know my gear is so good. I can't even tell you the difference between the gear that I've got now versus the gear that I rented when I did a lesson like three years ago. It was so clunky. I just don't think I had the right things for me. Whereas now I feel incredibly confident. And yeah, I mean, I fell over like four times, like completely stacked it twice and then like tactically fell twice but i'm happy i fell because you know that's scary and to have just done that i'm like okay i know hopefully it's okay and yeah oh, i'm just like yeah yeah i mean it's, it's the start isn't it my hair's completely ruined but yeah i feel like i started so yeah we just went literally did the green once and i would say i skied 80 percent of it definitely just before we got to the bottom i was like okay i'm i'm gonna call it now and then i walked down the, the last bit but yeah i'm really proud of myself for getting in my skis and having a little mooch around before i actually do my lessons so i'm just waiting for dad to get back i literally just got back got changed and there's a firework display on tonight i think it's i think it's an 1850 they said we can see it from our balcony here 1650 but i think everyone from the chalet is going up so we're gonna go up with everyone and go and watch it which should be really fun but yeah i'm just feeling really really accomplished to be honest as someone who's been a total scaredy cat and i have no problem saying no which has then turned into a bit of a problem because i'm happy to say no like i would have been like no thank you they're like do you want to do lessons no thank you do you want to do you want to go on a skiing holiday but like, yeah they're like do you want to ski i'm like no thank you but no 2024 is where that changes and seeing the pride in my dad's face there's just something like you literally cannot buy that can you like seeing your parent proud of you and partaking in something that's really important to them I think is a really cool feeling so I'm feeling good the weather's been great I think we just got so incredibly lucky with the conditions do you like my new little headband I got this from and other stories I mean it looks kind of crazy doesn't it but keeping my hair back I'm really proud of myself so I mean I've made zero progress but actually no the progress is I went down the slope in my skis and I made it to the bottom we just missed the bus don't look at me like it was my fault so I'm all layered up and we're about to head up to 1850 for the firework display. Maybe it was full because there's still people stood there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm majorly layered up because I hate being cold. So I've got my big Montclair, I've got my that big like mom's handmade knitted jumper underneath. I've got my ski trousers on. I've got my leggings under my ski trousers and my moon boots. So hopefully I'll be okay. I feel like we arrived just in time. Yeah. Look you guys, they're skiing down the mountain holding torches and it, it must be pitch black up there, right? You guys, look how scary this is. It's, oh, I just don't think that is supposed to happen. It's literally right there. We're doing a little car four stop just before dinner. Dad wants to get some waters, but I'm just here for fun. I'm <laughs> just browsing. I just love the farm version. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
I am exhausted from the amount of skiing <laughs> that I've done today. <laughs> Guys, I literally did 80% of one green run and then went, oh, that was brilliant. Thanks so much, Dad. <laughs> Um, but there's, where is the zip line? Uh, Valtorin. So a father and daughter that are staying in our chalet did it today and they said it was really, really good. So we're just trying to see if we can fit it into our schedule because annoyingly my ski school times are at very random times. So tomorrow it's 11 and then the next day it's one and then we fly home Sunday, but we don't actually know our transfer time until the night before. So we don't know if we're gonna be able to fit it in Sunday morning, but we fly quite late. Mm. I don't know. But I would really like to do it. It looks really cool. We'd, we'd end up leaving the resort about three o'clock-ish. So we definitely got time. I would have said so. Because I don't think we're going to do anything crazy like the hot air balloon or anything, are we? And this is like the equivalent. Mm. Something not ski-y, but cool. But my friends, I'm going to love you and leave you and head off to sleep because I need a, I need a good night's sleep ready for uh, tomorrow's activities. I am I'm not nervous. I'm ready. But like, I know three hours. Do you think it's going to drag? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you'll find it challenging. Yeah. It depends on your instructor. If she's good, she'll. You, it should fly by. Well, I feel like I'm doing it in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited, but yeah, it's. I think doing anything new can be quite intimidating, can't it? But you'll you'll see how I get on. But yeah, I will catch up with you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, good morning. It is lesson day and I'm so excited. I am pretty much ready. I just need to put my ski jacket on. And I'm wondering if I take sunglasses, but it doesn't look that bright today. And I think by the time the lesson's done, I'm going to want to come back and not stay out. But no, I feel like I should just put them in my pocket anyway. I can take my little specs ones so they're not that big. I feel like, yes, that's what I'll do. Okay, well, my father's coming to meet me in the boot room to take me to my lesson because he is an absolute angel. But let me get my jacket on. But before I start messing around, Dad wanted me to bring him something. Ah. Dad requested an Alpen bar. So my whole outfit pretty much is Goldberg. And then my base layers are Sweaty Betty. I have filmed Get Dressed With Me's over on TikTok. So if you want to see what I'm wearing, it will be over there. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm nervous, but I'm not nervous as in like anxious nervous. I'm nervous that it just is gonna be hard work, which I know it is. So I guess it's, you know, justified nerves, but I've got my, Yes, my lip pass. Sunny's in the pocket. I'm gonna put my phone in my pocket and my lip balm. And I think I'm good, really. <laughs> I'm having a nervy bee. Okay, I'm fine. What's the worst? No, I can't say that. I, let's not think about the worst that could happen. I have lots of things coming up in the next few weeks. Should have actually tried to plan this trip last, but it's just not how it happens, is it? All right, wish me luck. Boots are on, I'm in, and uh, we are heading off. I explicitly said I would be carrying my own skis this whole trip, but <laughs> because he doesn't have his right now, I did accept the help, but I have my other stuff. I'm scared. Also guys, look how little snow there is. It's been so warm here. Uh, usually all of this would be covered in snow apparently, and it's not. Well, after all of that, I got the time wrong, and uh, my lesson's not another two and a half hours. Hi guys. guys, I have just finished my lesson. It was three hours and oh my goodness, it was so good. I did a green run and didn't fall over, which, well, actually, no, I did fall over. That's a lie. But, you know, only once. Uh, but yeah, oh my goodness, I feel so good. I think I'd made the assumption that I was going to just really not enjoy the lessons and just, it was something I had to get through, but I've actually really, really enjoyed it. So I spent most of the lesson, I had a three hour lesson here on the nursery slope, just kind of going up and down, getting a feel and everything. And then we went and did a green run and came back here to finish off. Just, I, I was like, I would like to go back and just, you know, do a couple of runs the nursery slope finish on a high even though i did finish the green really well but it was a bit you know it's a bit bitty but i feel good i yeah and i i really really enjoyed it so i did the green run yeah at the top okay um and i think i found one yeah but it was good i love being on the nursery slope i think i found the green run a bit scary yeah. and didn't enjoy it as much no. but then i went back on the nursery slope after doing the green run i was like oh this is oddle so, yeah. so you started with the master and then, and then went, went up. up to the next yeah. one. It's a little steeper. Yeah. So, yeah. But then you didn't feel the steeper at all when I came back. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Dad's <laughs> walking down the stairs going, oh, oh, oh. Well, mission complete. It's cake time. <laughs>
I feel very accomplished. You know what? I think I feel even more accomplished because I actually enjoyed it. That's brilliant. And I think that's such a um, such huge thing, isn't it? Ooh, we have some Victoria sponge. These are gluten-free ones. And then look, there's a bag of bread. I might have some bread with butter and jam. That's kind of what I'm fancying. Is there any coffee? Oh, I might have a vanish of that. And I'm going to have a coffee too. All right, this is my post-skiing snack. I have bread, I have butter, and I have jam. And it is exactly what I fancy right now. But there's also some pan behind you. So I'm like, maybe, but they're not the best. The ones the other morning were better. So I might hold out until breakfast tomorrow. Eating, making a normal coffee. Uh, no, it's no coffee. No. Oh no. I put the, the, the percolator thing on, but I have no idea. If not, we can YouTube it. Do you know it's quick? Yeah. Are you turning? Mm-hmm. Wow. I love that you got these. When I get in a situation where I'm out of control and I don't know what I'm doing, I always crouch. Yes. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what, oh, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go down like that. I'm, I'm more Close in control. To the ground, yeah. And then if I fall, I don't feel as I got so, mm -hmm. so far to fall. So we're at dinner. We've got this burrata. We've got a little charcuterie board. We've got some chips. We've got hummus. We've got some chips. And I did request some And I did request some vegetables. That is so good. Well, my friends, we just got back from dinner and it was so good. I am obviously exhausted. I mean, doing three hours straight of anything where you're being instructed, I feel like, is like a mental task. And then it actually being a physical thing, I am just tired. <laughs> Dad's doing car phrases. I don't feel physically tired. Like, I don't feel like my legs are killing or anything. And I'm so happy with my boots and my skis. I felt like I had everything I needed and my feet didn't hurt at any point, which was so good. But yes, I am going to head off to sleep. But my lesson is at 11 tomorrow. And then I pretty much have the afternoon and then we need to figure what we're doing Sunday because we don't actually have lift passes so and our flight's not till the evening so we need to decide what we're gonna do there's like some fun things to do in the area so I definitely like to see if we can do something like that there is a zip line but it's about an hour and a half away and I'm like that's kind of that's kind of far but we'll see but for now I'm gonna head off to bed I've done my whole skincare routine so I look like a glazed donut but I will see you bright and early in the morning for another day of skiing good night Good morning, good morning. I've literally just finished getting ready to go for my lesson and the zip on my suit keeps popping so I can't wear it. I've got to change, which I'm so annoyed about because this was never broken. I don't know how it's suddenly broken and it's at the waistband. I don't know. I feel like once a zip breaks, it just becomes so weak and I just know what would happen. I'd be on the slopes and pop and then I'd freak out. So yeah, sadly, I am going to have to change. I think I'm just going to put the trousers on that I wore yesterday and then my white coat because it is a bit chillier and the white one's slightly thicker so it'll keep me warmer. But yeah, a little bit annoying because I was so excited to wear this, but I'll probably just pop it on this afternoon when we're just like hanging out and then I still get to wear out a bit, but it means that I'm not gonna risk being on the edge of a mountain with a zip that is undone because that honestly just sounds completely like me actually. <laughs> okay, my friends, this is what I've settled on. I've got my white coat, the black trousers, and then I just have my gloves and my helmet and I'm good. So I'm gonna head off for my lesson and then this afternoon we're gonna go up to 1850 and I think get on the gondola up there and just go and have a look around because we didn't actually go up the gondola we literally just we didn't have our lift passes that day so time to learn to ski a little bit more first oh guys I did it I have literally just finished my lesson I did the green run twice without pulling over and I felt like pretty confident in parts of it but I definitely need more practice but genuinely I did not think I'd make this much progress on this trip and I'm so happy I could feel it like starting to click but obviously the privilege that I don't have is time. I only had two days of lessons and I don't want to ruin it by going out this afternoon and scaring myself. So yeah, I'm like over the moon. Skiing lessons, completed it. I did two green runs. I feel like I briefly told you earlier, but I didn't fall over once and I am just over the moon. I really had such low expectations, which maybe isn't a good thing, but then again, I wanted to be realistic and I know it's gonna be a complete journey, but I am so insanely proud of myself and I feel just incredibly accomplished. And also I'm glad that I've come out of it unscathed. I, there was a moment where I thought I could break my leg here, like not on the slopes, but as I was getting ready, I was like, I have so much in the diary. If I hurt myself right now, this isn't good. But we've just come back to the chalet, had to, like a coffee, some cake and gotten changed. And we're going to head up to 1850 and hop on the lift right up to the top. I don't know what it's called. Dad would be able to tell you, but that is what we're going to do and hopefully see some insane views. We're at the bus stop. I think the bus is actually just turning up. Amazing. Let's go. 
you guys a look at this. This is insane. Have you been up here yet or no? Yeah. This is mad. Did you ski this? I'll show you where I skied this morning. <laughs> insane. So we're getting on this lift now and going up. Oh, is this near the airport or no? No, the airport is over there. I don't think we'll be able to see the airport. Oh. Wow, you guys, look at this. This is where we just came from. Oh, my goodness. You ski to here every day. So when I drop you off at your lesson, yeah. this is where I come to every day. 16.50 over to here. This is the highest point. And then getting back to you is down here. Oh and around, you see where everybody's going. And it's absolutely awesome. Oh my gosh, look at all the peaks. This is insanity. Oh, my. oh, so you can then connect here and you go this way to Maribel? Yeah, down uh, there. it says Maribel, but it actually yeah. takes around to 1650. Oh, it does? There's, there's like a track down there, you can see where everyone's going. Yeah. And then it's a blue run all the way back down. Wow. Dad was just saying when he'd come here in the morning, there'd be like two people? Yeah. If, if that? that yeah. How long for? Just the first run? Or like the first couple? The first run, of the, yeah, because by the time I'm here, it's probably about half past nine, quarter to ten. Yeah. And I'm literally two or three people up here, the whole area is completely on your own, brilliant. It's so dreamy, I can't even explain to you. I was saying to Dad, I would just love Sophie to come here and just see this, because she doesn't know this exists, and we're looking at, look at what we're looking at. Look at this, it's just peaks and peaks and peaks. That's a restaurant up there, but yeah. you have to ski to get there. Would you say we're in line with the clouds here, or above the clouds? Yeah. Probably in line. So crazy, these are, I don't know how you can see, but they're little clouds. That yeah. is a run, right there. I could not imagine. I've just been watching people go down it. And is, is this person about to? The nerve. Oh, oh yeah, my there goodness. Go. There they go. Are you, there's no yeah, hesitation. <laughs> that nerve hesitation. I feel like you would have to stop and send is yourself. That a is that a snowboard or a ski? No, that's a skier. Is it? Yeah. He's thinking, really? The thing is, you can't go back now. No, you can't. You commit it. There he goes, look. Oh, He's waiting for his mates, look. Oh, my goodness. Look oh, at my them. God, look. Would you have done that when you were younger? Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness. <gasps> How much fun that must be. Wow. We just hit a patch of shade, but it was the most beautiful sun. We're just heading back down and we're going to go and spend some time in 1850. But just seeing it up there was so crazy. And it, it kind of, like, not that I needed reminding, but it definitely reminds me why I'm learning to ski. I think learning to do anything as an adult is quite intimidating, but the rewards are going to be so so good that it's yeah so well well my friends i had a lovely dinner most people are actually leaving tomorrow so everyone was just saying goodbye some people literally leave at like 6 30 tomorrow morning to get early flights from geneva so they're leaving so early but what are we gonna do with our day tomorrow we've got so many options our transfer is not coming until 3 45 i think it was i do want to do the zip line but it's a bit far away yeah which is three hours total traveling which we don't really want to do if we're then going to get in a transfer for two and a half hours what's in what's in maribel well i think i might up in the morning we have to be out of the room for nine and then maybe we go for a walk but like a hike yeah that'd be nice well anyway we're gonna figure out our poa for tomorrow but for now i'm heading off to bed good night good morning good morning it is time to say goodbye to our lovely room we have just packed up and thankfully everything fits in the bags i was overweight on the way on one of them so i need to figure that i think i solved it by just taking out my toiletries and putting those in my ski bag but don't really want to be faffing with that at the airport so i'm just gonna kind of cross my fingers and not look down at the weight and just not look at it and hopefully talk to her so she doesn't notice i don't know but anyway yeah we're all packed up and we're just gonna sit and chill in the lounge for a little bit i have some work to do and then we're gonna go for a wander maybe get the bus somewhere we've got the majority of the day so so I definitely want to get some movement in and actually spend some time outside because the air just feels so nice. Look at the room, it's all empty. These are my bags, everything here. I need to do a bit of an idiot check really to make sure I've not left anything. I have my coat, everything is out of the wardrobe. Wonderful. And then everything is definitely out the bathroom. Brilliant. And then... Honestly, I think we're good. I just need to put this in the back room. Well, my friends, we decided to come back down to 1650 and have a coffee at the pizza. Look at my view. How insane is this? So I think we're just going to sit here and baste in the sun for a little bit and drink coffee. Mm. 
and I'm home. I literally just got back from the hairdressers and big reveal, it looks the same. But I had the best trip with my dad. I honestly am over the moon that I can ski, kind of, now. I feel like I've had a really good base and I can't wait to build on it. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me, watching this vlog. This was such a huge bucket list tick for me and the travel continues. So make sure you subscribe, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. If you made it all the way to the end, I feel like it deserves a like. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.